Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at modeling a simple single hung window. Don't worry, when I say simple, I don't mean we're just going to draw a rectangle and push pull it and call it done. We're going to go into a little bit of detail. We're not going to go into the fine details. This isn't going to be a hero model where we could do a section and see the multiple planes of glass or anything like that. Um, it's going to be a quick one, you know, 10 minutes or so, but enough information, enough detail in there <clears throat> that we can recognize what it is. We could modify it as need be, and uh, we could open and close it. That's very important in a window. Well, in a window that opens. Some windows don't. But we're not modeling one of those. Let's hop in. All right, so I have here just an image, and this is really more for reference than anything else. So anybody who doesn't know what we're talking about, <clears throat> um, what we're going to look at is a frame, so a frame like this. I'm not going to model trim or anything like this. This will be just the piece that sits inside of the wall. And then we'll have inside that frame, we'll have this top pane, which is permanent. It's, it's static. It stays where it is. The bottom frame then will be separate and it will be a piece that can open and close. Um, I'll throw something that looks like a latch on here. I'm probably not going to go into the detail of the latch. We could probably do a whole 10 minute model on just this latch for you. Find a nice picture of it. So maybe we'll do that. Anyhow, let's hop in. <clears throat> okay, so what I like to do when I model windows is start with a rectangle on the ground. The reason I draw it on the ground is because what I'll probably do is I'll probably make this a cutting window that snaps to a vertical surface. And the easiest way to do that is to do it laying flat on the ground. Um, I've done a couple videos recently about gluing components and snapping components and cutting components. So check those out and they go in a little more detail about how to do this, but that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start with, with it on the ground and I want to make a, like maybe a, I don't know, two by three window. So this is not gonna be huge. So I'm just gonna go with 24 comma 36 and there we go. All right, so that's two feet wide, three feet tall, or yeah, three feet tall. <laughs> and this direction right here uh, is will go straight up and down on the wall. Uh, this is enough to start my component. So I'm going to double click, right click, and say make component. And I'm just going to say a 2030 single hung window. There we go. Uh, this is going to glue to vertical surfaces. Um, yeah, that's I'm gonna, that's all I'm going to do for now. I'm not going to cut. Uh, we're going to keep this simple. All right, there we go. So let's double click to go in there. So let's start by giving it some depth. Right, because this is, this component's going to have some kind of depth, so we'll say it's like uh, 1.5 inches, inch and a half, something like that. And then for this outside piece, we're just going to offset again, maybe say 1.5. I'm sorry, I don't know exact material sizes with this, so uh, you know, I apologize. All right, so that looks pretty good. Um, maybe we'll do something like we'll put a little bit more detail in here. Again, I don't want to be super simple, but at the same time, I don't want to. You know, this, this video is already halfway through, or well, third of the way through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, I'm going to make it into its own component. I'm going to call that the frame. And then uh, I'm going to do something like, I'm, I don't know, I'm looking in here. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. Uh, maybe, what is this? So I'm going to come down half an inch. And then I'm just going to trace that around like this. that and then I want to just give this a little well, let's see how should I do this let's do this so I don't I don't know the exact dimensions I apologize but we're gonna say something like this we're gonna just create a channel around the outside I could do this with follow me as well see every time I close it up I do get a face that I have to delete but then I'll take this right here and I'll push that in like 0.5 inches so do that side do that side do that side and do that side so that's going to give us the channel that our window can ride up and down in. So we'll say that frame is done for now. We could put more detail in here if we had some, you know, additional flourish or corners or something like that. But we're just going to keep this one, this first one simple. Um, all right, so let's make uh, a permanent frame. So if I look at this, uh, I'm out. So I come back into the component. This is my, my frame. I'm just going to draw a line right here. This is just for reference. This is where the middle of the window is. So from that middle of the window, if we have like a 
two inch sash. So I'm going to go down one. Oops. I went down a foot. Let's try it again. Down one. There we go. I pull this across like that. And then we're going to come up two. I put 12. Boy, typing's hard. All right. <laughs> I just hit delete and deleted the frame. You know, one of the things people like about these videos is we keep it very real. So I just screwed everything up there. You're welcome. All right, so I'm gonna come this way two inches. I'm gonna come this way. I'm gonna close that up. All right, there we go. There's a piece of sash and I'm just gonna bring that down this width. And then, uh, you know what, here's what I'll do. I'll just go like this. I'll bring this up like that. And then we'll offset that. Let's we'll do a half inch. And then I'll take this piece right here, bring that up uh, 1.5. Get that two inch sash there. All right. And then I can take this and offset that till it hits the bottom face. All right. So there, that is my fixed window frame. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make that into a new component. Fixed pane, pane, window pane. All right, and I'm going to take that and I'm going to drop it to the outside. Um, and I'm actually going to borrow that. So I'm going to grab it. I'm going to option copy it over here. I'm going to right click and say make unique. So now this is no longer uh, fixed pane. It's fixed pane one. So I'm going to say sliding pane. Get rid of the number one. We don't need that. Enter. All right. So now what do we got to do to make this a slider? Well, we need to flip it, right? So I'm gonna come in here, turn it around like that. Beautiful, so far so good. We also gonna extend it so it sticks out into this, this frame over here. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna come out this way. It's a half inch, so we'll say something like 3 eighths of an inch. No, we'll just say a half inch. Sometimes I think about, do I need to worry about real material? And sometimes I do, but sometimes uh, also I don't. So uh, I don't need to. I'm not going to fabricate off of this. All right, so there we got that piece right there. So I'm going to grab it by the middle here. I'm going to stick it to the middle here, and then I'm going to slide it up a bit. There we go. All right, and at this point we're pretty close to a good looking. Oh, I should get rid of this. A good looking uh, window. Well, like I said, one of the things I want to want to put in here is just something to represent. I'm going to go into this piece right here and something to represent uh, that little lock. So I, I just drew a line here across. That's the middle. I'm going to go to my rectangle tool and hit the modifier key to draw from the middle. And then I'll draw just a, just a little rectangle like that. I'm going to push that option, push that up. And we'll push it back just a touch like that. Why didn't I? Okay, anyhow. Um, and then let's do this. Let's go. I'm going to offset this like that. And then we'll come like right about here. Again, just making a, a fairly quick looking enough detail that I know that it's a latch. There we go. That works. All right. So that, I didn't put any glass in here, but if I wanted to, I could come into this component and draw a rectangle right here to right here. And then when I fill it, maybe grab something like a glass material. Makes sense, being that it's glass. And then put that on both sides. So there we go. So now it has that uh, glass, so it's gonna get a little reflection. I'll come in here, do the same to the fixed pane and back. Rectangle, just go from the middle point right here, to the middle point right here, and then same thing fill it with that glass material. I always click to make on both sides just to make sure. I've done it before, I painted one side so it looked out but it didn't look in. That's sort of thing, so I wanna do that. All right, and with that, we have our component finished. So if I was to draw a rectangle over here, go to my components, my components are gonna show, here's my window and then all the subcomponents I have inside of it, and Sri, hi Sri. And uh, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna pull this up and then we're gonna grab that fixed window and you can see how it snaps right onto the face like that. So with that, we have that single hung window. Now we componentized everything in it. So if there was a change, say we, we needed this to be uh, six inches wider, what I could do is I could double click here, go this way, six, 
grab this one. This one's gonna be a little bit trickier because we, if we wanna keep that in the middle, we'd wanna come here, make this six inches wider, and then we'd wanna scoot this over maybe three. Something like that. Should probably make that its own component too, huh? And then finally the fixed pane, same thing, grab that, slide this way six, and then there we go. The problem was, of course, I did that to the 2030 window. So now my 2030 window and all instances of it just moved. So what I'd want to do first, of course, is maybe make a copy of that, make it unique, and then make those changes. But you can see how quick and easy it is to do that, slap that on there. Um, the one thing it did do is it input this corner as the face it snaps to. See that? So let's, uh, let's adjust that real quick. I'm going to select there. We're going to go in to the component properties. Whoops, that was the right spot. I'm gonna say edit and uh, go back over here. Select this, edit, it's vertical. Let's turn on cut opening and let's uh, change the placement axis. I'm gonna double click in here. So it places by wherever the axis is on here. So if I go to tool, so remember when you first make one of these, it does come up and say, pick the, act, or pick the placement point but you can change it later on by just going to axes and reassign the axes. So if I assign it to the outside and I'll click, do you want to update it? Yes, I do. So what that did now is if I grab one of these, we'll go like this and click to place it. And as soon as we do, there we go. You can see it cut in so we can see in there. It's flush with the outside because that's where I want it to be. If I don't want to flush the outside, say this is supposed to stick like a half inch proud, I could just uh, move that point down, that placement point down there. But right now it's in there, it's flat as opposed to the first one, which was out on the outside. So again, goal here, less than 10 minutes to make a window. So I was about 30 seconds to go modify it. So I could create a component library of windows in, I don't know, maybe an hour or something like that with dozens of sizes. Um, this was a single hun, simple, if I had a detailed drawing where I had exact dimensions and sizes and things like that, I could, of course, follow along with that and, you know, make that a little more detailed. We, I just kind of shot from the hip here with my dimensions and stuff. But there you go. Quick and easy. Single hung window. Right inside SketchUp. Native tools only. This is not to say that you can't go to something like 3D Warehouse and download some awesome components, maybe even directly from the manufacturer. People do that all the time. It's awesome, go get those, that's great. If what you're looking for is something you can control a little better, maybe put your own part number on and information into the component. Uh, if you want a specific size that you can't find, if you want the controlled level of detail, that's probably the number one reason I would do something like this is to control that level of detail. Um, when you go up onto grab a component off of 3D Warehouse, you might get an awesome thing in there. You might get, like I was talking about, that hero level rendering of the window where it has, you know, a dozen surfaces just to make a pane of glass, which you'll never actually see. When that, maybe that, that little latch where we put in something good enough is actually, you know, <laughs> beautifully sculpted and every curve's in there, but it's 10,000 surfaces just for the little latch, which you again shows up kind of like a little dot in most of your drawings. So doing it this way, level of detail, something we talk a lot about, this gives you the opportunity to make the amount of detail you need in there for that window. So hopefully that helped. And again, we made a single hung window. You'd see how the process would be different for a double hung. If you have both sliders instead of one fixed, you would just change that up a little bit and so have two rails in there. Um, actually, you can probably see how any sort of window might work with this. Um, process is pretty similar, just the way you put the pieces in is gonna be changed a little bit. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. what do you think of this modeling process? Is there a better way, quicker way? Is there something that I missed? Is there something that you think would make a good video that wasn't this, that's totally something different? Any of those things, let us know down in the comments. We like making these videos a lot. We'd like them even more. Let's show it something you want to see. Thank you.